Howdy, I'm John Richmond, and I'm the inventor and the manufacturer of the Sluice Goose Industries Gold Drop, gold and ore separating processor. This is the Gold Drop Miner, a prototype of Gold Drops to come. Today I'll be processing five bags of quickcrete all-purpose sand purchased at the local Home Depot here in Albany, process it through the Gold Drop Miner, and extract the gold and that near gold concentrate from this sand. Before I do that though, I'll walk you around the Gold Drop Miner and give you an introduction to how it operates. This is the reservoir from which all the water is pumped and all the water returns in a circulating motion. There are two pumps in the water one is to actually pump through the gold drop and the other supplies a wash hose to wash the ore through the screen on top of the funnel. The power for the gold drop is supplied by the 12 volt battery. I added wings to the marine battery to have many more places to clamp and power the different devices. So this battery is charged by this 100 watt solar panel. Total consumption of the gold drop in this situation is a 75 watts. So that 100 watt solar panel has no problem at all keeping this 12 volt battery fully charged. The water for the gold drop is pumped through by that 12 volt bilge pump submerged in the water. Both pumps are sitting on top of the screen elevated off the bottom of the pool so it doesn't suck debris into the gold drop. Water is pumped through the gold drop up and out and drains out that Y there. The tailings run out here and into the tailings bucket. The water overflows into the pool while the tailings settle to the bottom of the bucket. And the bucket is changed out and this is where the tailings will sit. These are the vortex spinner paddles in the trap of the gold drop miner. They are counter rotating, forcing material down towards the point of elutriation, but still providing lift for the lighter material to force it up and out of the gold drop miner. This is the top of the feed funnel. It has a three millimeter screen of which you dump your material on top, wash it through, and then the screen flips so that you can dump the overburden on the ground. In the funnel, the vortex spinner motor is suspended on that aluminum frame and the motor is encased in a rubber jacket and sealed in rubber on the face so it is fully waterproof and cannot be damaged by the water pouring over the top. These are the five 50 pound bags, 23 kilograms of quickcrete all purpose sand we'll be processing through the gold drop miner to determine rate of feed and recovery of gold.
This is gold extracted from five 50 pound bags of Quickrete all purpose sand purchased at the Albany Home Depot and processed through the Gold Drop Miner in 45 minutes time. This is the smeltable concentrate that was also extracted from that Home Depot sand and it is absolutely loaded with microscopic gold. This black matter assays at 220 ounces of gold per ton and 47 ounces of silver. Amazing to see that little tiny microscopic gold mixed in. Now we'll go ahead and weigh up all of this matter and see how much our total weight is. This is the total weight of gold extracted 
from 250 pounds, 115 kilos of quickcrete all-purpose sand processed through the gold drop miner. One gram of gold. That is an eight gram per ton assay of Home Depot sand. Pretty amazing. This is the total weight of the microscopic gold loaded near gold concentrate extracted by the gold drop miner from 250 pounds of quickcrete all-purpose sand. 1.8 grams. Well, that's about a half ounce per ton of this matter in Home Depot quickcrete all-purpose sand, about the lowest grade ore one can get a hold of. So a good demonstration of the ability of the gold drop miner to extract gold and near gold products from any kind of ore. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being interested.